suppose you were given a shape, in this case a triangle, on a set of normal axes. There are a number of key transformations you must be able to do at GCSE. And the first one is to reflect. You will be given a mirror line. And the first example is the mirror line of x equals minus 1. So on the x axis you find minus 1. So we have a vertical line passing through the x coordinate minus 1. And then what one does is you look at the given shape and reflect it across the line. So going through each coordinate in turn, this bottom coordinate is two away from the line, so when it's reflected, it goes two to the other side. This coordinate here is two across, one, two, so when reflected, it also goes two across. But at the far right coordinate, which is 1, 2, 3 across reflects 1, 2, 3 across and ends up that bit further away. And then you can construct the shape if you so wish. You can shade it. And there is a shape which has been reflected in a mirror line x equals minus 1. Now if instead y was equal to minus 2. I'll show you what happens in this particular case. We could draw across the mirror line when y equals minus 2. Will this work as easily? We'll find out. Going through each coordinate, the bottom coordinate is 1, 2, 3 from the mirror line. So once it's reflected, it goes one, two, three coordinates away. Now this is interesting because the top coordinate is one, two, three, four, five away from the mirror line. We'd have to go one, two, three, four, five, and there's not enough space. No problem. And of course in the exam you'd be given enough space reflected. And it just shows how large axes are often required for these sort of questions. What we can do is a second transformation which is called translation. It's given it in a vector form with two numbers. Now the top number is the horizontal motion because translate means move. So 1, the top number is horizontal, it means 1 across. When it's positive, it means to the right. If it was negative, it would be 1 to the left. The lower number is vertical motion, so 2. And this is a minus, it's 2 down. If it was a plus 2, it would be 2 up. So our shape has moved 1 across and 2 down. So we go through each coordinate in turn, going, here's the first coordinate, we'll set 1 across, 2 down. Here we are. 1 across, 2 down. Over here, 1 across, 2 down. Now we just construct the shape. If you so wish, you can shade it in. And that shows how a shape can be translated by a given vector.